exposed. Dozens of former students at Bayshore High School are getting cancer. Investigative reporter Doug Smith joins us with a new effort to get the state to listen. Laura, former students say they're trying to get the health department to start counting the cases. They want investigators to study this as a possible cancer cluster. And today they met with someone who might be able to push the state in that direction. Obviously, we are all here for the same reason. Former students say too many of their classmates have died too young. We want answers. That's all we want. We want to get to the bottom of it. They packed this room in Bradenton to talk about the alarming number of cancer cases. The common link? The old Bayshore High School, torn down almost 10 years ago. Alumni came to Fox 13 because they say nobody in Tallahassee would listen. How many of you believe that you're not being told the truth? Now, State Representative Bill Galvano wants to help them find the truth. I'd like to get a, a real working knowledge of the people who are involved, the stories that are out there, more than just an anecdotal basis. No Earlier this month, our investigation truth. exposed the alarming numbers that students have compiled on this website. 77 cases of cancer, including 33 deaths. After our report aired, the numbers went even higher. We've learned of 20 cases, 20 more cases. So how many are you up to now? We're up to 97 cases. Some former students wonder whether diesel fuel tanks buried on school property might have been leaking benzene known to cause cancer, even though soil samples showed just trace amounts of contamination. Others wonder if their cancer was caused by something in the walls, something perhaps toxic. Start testing the ground and the uh, you know, surrounding area, and let's see you know, see what comes of it. I mean, there's just too much too much coincidence going on here. Definitely, you lost your son. Do you hope that this meeting is the start to getting the answers that you want? Yes, yes. It, this is the beginning. Somebody knows something. Somebody's covering up something. I just want the truth. State Representative Galvano is promising to help alumni get their medical records into the hands of the right people. Certainly a good first step that the group hopes will result in a thorough investigation by the state health department. John? All right, Doug, thank you. Halloween parties. They're coming together to talk about what's killing their classmates. Investigative reporter Doug Smith shows us why they're dying and why former students don't think they're being told the truth. Dearly beloved, we're gathered together. Home videos are all Lana Johnson has left to remind her of happier times. Her husband, Zaharius, who friends called Z, died less than a year ago. I think the, the scariest thing that can happen is um, not remembering them but forgetting them. She can't believe a man with his speed and strength died so young of colon cancer at age 27. That's him chasing down the ball carrier and making the tackle. Before college at the University of Arizona, Johnson was a football star here on this field at Bayshore High School in Bradenton. You know, wouldn't even eat junk food. Uh, definitely a healthy guy. Everything was about fitness because he was an athlete. Since he had no family history of cancer, Lana Johnson started looking for answers and found something startling. Graduates of Bayshore High School are dying young many with rare forms of cancer. How many of you believe that you're not being told the truth? These people came forward to share their stories because they want health officials to conduct a thorough investigation. Each picture tells a different story of a loved one lost. You know, the doctors, because she was so young, they, they didn't you know, think that she would have cancer at that age. And there is no history of cancer in our family. Uh, it was two weeks before his 18th birthday and Within 11 months, Ricky passed away. Their school, the old Bayshore High, is gone, torn down in 1998. It's now a soccer field. While a new school has been built, their lives are falling apart. It's really a weird thing to have to talk to people that you really haven't talked to in almost 30 years to find out that there's something that's, that's just absolutely not right. There's no way this is a coincidence. There's no way. Cheryl Joza lost her sister, Terry, to leukemia at the age of 27. She started this website, which tracks the numbers of alumni who are sick and dying. And every time I would talk to somebody 
I, I would learn of another case. And then next thing you know, you're just getting email after email, and we're now up to 77 cases. 77, 77 cases? 77 cases, 33 deaths, and 44 cases of people that currently have cancer or are cancer survivors. Joni Wallace, class of 83, is battling a form of thyroid cancer. They said at that time that normally a woman my age does not get that type of cancer. It was very unusual. There's a pattern. There's no doubt. If the school is to blame, what was the source? Some former students wonder whether diesel fuel tanks buried on school property might have been leaking benzene known to cause cancer, even though soil samples showed just trace amounts of contamination. Others wonder if their cancer was caused by something in the walls, something perhaps toxic. We're going to go on an incredible tour of Bayshore High School. This rare video shows us inside Bayshore High, shot 20 years ago by students as part of a class project. We're doing lifestyles of the wet and moldy. I'm Susan Lee. Nice wet and moldy. Yes. I'm nice <laughs> it was a running joke at Bayshore, students and faculty complaining about mold and leaking water. These people believe the state needs to investigate Bayshore as a possible cancer cluster. But state health officials say there's not enough evidence to convince them of a pattern. We do not have any uh, medical information on presumed affected people. Not enough information? What about all the cancer cases on this website? There's no serious attempt to find the truth. I, don't, I, I feel. The state says it has medical records for just one former student. To my knowledge, I have only uh, heard from Miss Lana Johnson. But Lana Johnson knows there are many others desperate to be heard, and these people say health investigators need to start listening. I'm searching for answers for my sister and for people that might be fighting cancer or people that may not even know that they have cancer. Doug Smith, Fox 13 News. Bayshore alumni have reached out to State Representative Bill Galvano. Later this month, he plans to meet with them to help them get their medical information to the right people at the State Health Department. It's a horrible thing it's for a, them to go through. You know, a and very alarming statistic. A, suspect there's a hot spot and not be able to figure out why. I hope they do. Well,